I'm Patty Simpson with Simpson Math. In this video, we're going to look at explanatory and response variables. In statistics, we'll collect data based on some question that we want answered. And sometimes when we collect that data, we realize that two variables have some sort of relationship. Maybe as one of them increases, as measurements increase, the measurements of another one also increase. Or maybe as the measurement of one decreases, the measurement of another decreases. Or maybe as one increases, the other decreases. Or maybe as this one decreases, that one increases. We call that relationship correlation. And um, when we do that, we have two different types of variables. We have the explanatory variable and the response variable. And the explanatory variable is just a variable that explains or maybe predicts what the other variable's re uh, measurements will be. So that explanatory variable, if this one increases, it might let me know, it might predict, it might explain that my response variable, my other variable, is also going to increase. I can then predict. So the explanatory variable is just the one that explains or predicts, and the response variable is the one that I'm actually testing. Let's look at some examples. A researcher collects various data on children and their reading habits and scores. The researcher finds that the kids that have books in the home score better on reading tests. In this case, my explanatory um, variable is the number of books in the home. And the response variable is the score on the reading test. So this researcher has found that as the number of books in the home increases, the score on the reading test increases. So the explanatory variable is number of books and the response variable is the score on the reading test. Here's another example. A researcher follows firemen from a fire department and collects data. The researcher finds that when more firefighters are present at a fire, more damage occurs. So here, the researcher collects the number of firemen at a fire and realizes that that will help predict or explain the amount of um, damage that occurs at the fire. So the more firefighters that are there, the more damage occurs. So those two are correlated. And your explanatory is the number of firemen and the uh, response variable is the uh, amount of damage. A researcher finds that short eight-week classes have higher grade averages and higher pass rates for students. So in this case, the researcher looked at how long the courses were and then the GPA or the, um, the grade that was made in the course. So the explanatory variable was how long is the course, and the response variable is that grade that was made. So the explanatory variable just predicts or explains our response variable. Math made simple at Simpson Math. Thanks for watching.